I went in the military because I needed the money. Who says a woman has to settle for a routine job just because she's a woman? Discover the United States Air Force and you'll discover the world. I was newly out of college. This was a new job. I had just married, so it was the start of new everything. It became clear pretty quickly that the men I was working with who were married got a housing allowance, and I wasn't getting paid a housing allowance because I was a woman. One of the biggest challenges that we were facing when we were editing was like, how the heck are we going to make the law interesting? <laughs> how do you like make an emotional connection? And that's when we decided to use the photographs of the woman, because that's, that's what RBG was doing. She was humanizing a, an issue for these judges. Ruth and I set to work to write the brief. I would write a section and Ruth would take it and it would come back in a wonderfully brilliant fashion. Every word it was carefully. I mean, Ruth went over every single word. What we wanted was a review of cases that the court would say, sex discrimination doesn't work. And it would be a broad command, basically, to legislatures to get rid of statutes that discriminate on the basis of, of gender. The film has all this like great verite of, of the justice now. Were you looking at these scenes stylistically different from when you were using the, the, the verite footage of today? Um, yeah, I mean, those moments were kind of limited. I mean, there were very tense moments with, with her, but they were very short. So we didn't have a lot of that, that footage. It was more structurally the way that we were thinking about it, you know, like where we needed to kind of like bring you back to the present and see the way that she is. They really wanted to put up front the power of this 80 year old woman as she is now, you know, with her wrinkles. When I'm working with archival, I'm always trying to paint, you know, a portrait of the moment and to be able to like take the audience as if they were walking with our protagonist. So all those kind of like little textural decisions are just that to build, to build that moment emotionally and to take you there um, as much as we can. Mrs. Ginsburg. I was terribly, terribly nervous, but then I looked up at the justices and I thought, I have a captive audience. I knew that I was speaking to men who didn't think there was any such thing as gender-based discrimination. Oh, yay, oh, yay. All persons having business before the Supreme Court of the United States are admonished to draw near and give their attention, for the court is now sitting. <laughs> 